Hello and welcome to this episode of Beauty Last. It's always a great time when I get to sit with couples and just hear their story, learn from their experiences, and I'm sure that you've been learning from the previous episodes. Today, I have a couple that I absolutely love. They're just amazing and I get to share them with you. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with me the Yaris. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much for agreeing to just open your life and your family and your experience and for us to learn from it. We're grateful, sir and ma. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you, Bologi, for the opportunity to, to share our life and experience. Yes, sir. Okay, so... <laughs> so, we're going to start... We're going to start with the first question, which is how you met and you were convinced that this is the person for you. Ah, jam question. No, it's you that starts. Who, me? Ah, you know the details. Okay, um, I think for me, I, I first saw her uh, okay. in ABU when she came to see her sister in Samaru. Okay. And um, I just knew she was the one when I saw her. You know why? Um, I'd, I'd taken out time to be praying. Okay. You know, they, they normally say it's not too early to start praying for your, for your spouse, right? Uh, how do they put it? Yeah, your life partner. So I was praying and um, I don't know. I just I just saw somebody like her. Okay. So the first day I saw her, I just knew she was the one, but um, leave her no green with her. <laughs> so, so I couldn't even talk to her that day. She came to see her sister and, and after then um, I started stalking her. Oh, wow. Yes, yeah. you were actually stalking her. How? Because there was no social media at that time. So how were you stalking her? I so I, I normally go to Congo to see my cousins uh, who were in Congo campus mm -hmm. and um, each time I go there I try to look out for her and once in a while I see her and fortunately <clears throat> very interesting fortunately I have, I have this friend who happens to be yeah, a very close friend, friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, in fact best friend um, she I went to visit her one of those days God took me there to visit her mm -hmm. one of those days mm -hmm. And Steps lo and behold, <laughs> two ladies walked into the house. Mm. I just said, Hallelujah. I was already telling Jume that I'd seen someone um, and I was trying to describe her. So as soon as he just came in, I just told you, This is the person, person. This is the person. And that was it. Oh, wow. But he didn't have to leave her to say anything. <coughs> okay. It was Jume that was pushing him. But at that time, Jume didn't even tell me that ah, I have a friend that likes you. She never told me, she was always pushing me. All she, she just, all she just, <laughs> all Jume just said was, she's not ready. Once she's ready, I'll let you know. Hmm, a good friend. Yeah, that was what she just said. And um, when she was ready, Jume just called me. Uh, then I think I was uh, working at ASD Motors. Mm. And she just called me and just said, bro, she's ready. Ah, mm. leave her caught. You couldn't come. I couldn't come. The first day I couldn't come. The second day, so she now called me and just said, Why do I, why am I having this feeling as if you're a slacker? And that word, <laughs> ginger. ginger. <laughs> yes. okay. and, and I went to their house Go and, to my house. and so. knocked at the door. And um, her brother came out and I asked, um, I, I told the brother, I'm here to see him. He said, okay, she, he's coming. He went, he woke out from sleep. And that has never happened, right? It doesn't wake me up when I'm sleeping. Oh, wow. But he woke me up that day. And she came and I just asked her, I said, do you remember me? She's like, mm, okay, I know, I think I, I can remember this place, Juma's house. He said, yes, my name is Joshua. And she sat down, I brought water for him. What do we even talk? Okay, he told me his life story that day. From <laughs> beginning to end, I was like, what kind of woman? Manifesto, <laughs> manif please, the manifesto. First day, he told me the good, the bad, and the ugly, as in everything about himself. Wow. The first day, he didn't hide anything. I'm like, oh, this one not too. You know why? You know why? <laughs> you know why I had to do that that day? Because I wouldn't want a situation where I would have an opportunity to see her that day. They'll come back the next day, just, ah, you should have told me yesterday. Just after you left, one guy came and told me that he likes me and I have told him yes. I told mm. him yes. And I, I didn't want to just give her that chance or any... That's how he told me the 
story of his life. Then the second time he came to my house, my sister was working in Katana actually, Esther. So he came to the house, I was like, this guy is even disturbing. Because I wasn't even I wasn't even looking for a husband actually. Okay. That time when he came. So they now said Joshua is around. I went to sleep, I brought water for him. I was just I was just in the room. Then my sister was like, She went back inside. I went back to my room. My sister was like, ah, my <clears throat> cure. It's no good. Just go and sit down with this guy. You don't know. Just go. Wow. I don't stay. That's how we became friends. It wasn't love at first sight mm. for me. Mm. But we became friends and there was no we, there was no day that we didn't talk that time. Mm-hmm. We talk almost every day. But we don't talk physically if you call me. Wow. Then it was landline. Landline. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No good bills for good parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so um, for me, for me, I, from the very first day I saw her, I just knew she was the one. Because I've, I've been praying, I've been praying, before then I've been praying, and um, God has revealed some things to me, showed me something. So as soon as I just saw her, I just said, this is, this is she. She's the man. Mm. <coughs> when, did I know, I, when I knew that he was one, was, I, asked my, I asked God, I said, my mom should actually open her mouth and say, hmm. I like this guy. That's the sign that he's one. That, and that's exactly what she said. And so, wow. so to understand her mom, right? To impress her, it's always a very difficult thing. Mm. You get it. So um, some guys had come before me, and they came mm. and left. In fact, after she had mounted pressure on her that this one is not going far. But for me. <clears throat> So she's, she's actually one of my besties. Yes. Oh, wow. So, my mom really likes him. Wow. She um, mm-hmm. just a lot. So. Mm-hmm. And uh, he was afraid that my parents would say, ah, he's not working, he's not doing anything. So what? they never asked him that question. Oh, wow. Yeah, Even so, when he told them that he wants to marry me, they never asked him, okay, how are you going to feed our daughters? They never asked him that question. Mm. So when we met, um, I was doing work. I was working somewhere, but I had to go for NYC after then. Because the, the color of letter was, was ready. So I had to leave and I came back. I, in fact, I wasted just like the prodigal son. Yesterday we were counting, <laughs> we were recounting <coughs> what we did before we got married, just like the prodigal son. I wasted a lot of years, I mean months, and even resources in need. I was trying to look for a job. Just mm-hmm. let something just come out before we so get married. Get married. Mm-hmm. But she tried so hard. But you know how it is with God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. God was like, finish this. Then you finish going around, you come back. Wow. And that's what happened. So when we decided to get married, it's mmm. <laughs> Baba, God bless his soul. Because my father in law that came, he was, I was still in Lagos. When my father in law came with elders in the church and one of his uncles had paid down. With, they, didn't like they didn't tell you to go. They didn't tell you to go. He brought the normal salt and every other thing. Uh, he couldn't wait for the son is yeah, too I much was, was busy <laughs> So that was what happened. <laughs> wow. But for yeah. me, I was, I have not started working. Why should yeah. I go and So that was what he was concerned about. But when Baba paid the dowry and everything, so we now said, okay, so this is it. So what we did, we, we wrote a list from what people were going to eat to water to everything. After writing the list at the price, we now held hands and prayed and showed God, who's our list to mm. What only you can do. Mm. Because I wasn't working. Was I wasn't working. Wow. She was collecting thirteen thousand naira. Yes, I was collecting thirteen thousand naira. Because that's the government. 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 Yeah. Wow. wow, wow, wow. And that's how we got married. The thirteen thousand naira. Wow. Yeah. And here we are, fifteen years <laughs> later. <laughs> oh my fifteen God. years later. Oh God. <laughs> so your story is just really interesting, <laughs> and I love how like both of you are telling this story. It's just sweet. But from what I've heard, it it's for some people it's. I know immediately and for others I don't know immediately. Yeah. So it's okay because some people feel the pressure that oh if I didn't feel it immediately, you know. Is, yes, and some other people don't believe those that knew immediately. So everybody's journey is different, different from what I've heard from you. Um but as long as God is there, we will arrive at the same destination yeah. we will know. Yeah, but, we'll but also Bologi, you know, for me I first I I spoke to God about it, um, 2008, 2008, no, 1998, sorry, got married 2000. I, got, I spoke to God about it, 2000, 1997, 
and um, I didn't see her till 2000, right? Yes, yeah, yeah, 2000. 2000. Wow. And we didn't get to talk till 2002. Wow. Yeah. So, even... Even the immediate still had a Yes, process. yes. Yeah, wow. Okay. So, we're going to move to the next question, which is about handling differences in personality. Because for some people, that's the reason they call it quits in their marriage. Because you're too different, I can't handle it. I can't handle it. So, first of all, let's start. Are you guys different in personality? Very and how, nice. how do you handle it? You want to talk She's a very quiet person to sound. Um, yeah, it took it took me time, even in the church, to like try to like push her. Mm. Like when we speak. got married, you know, after after the wedding, when we go back home, when we moved from his parents' house mm. to our house, I was just like quiet. I felt like a stranger there. And he was mm. wondering what's wrong with you. I just wanted a quiet place. And I asked her. I said, Is he, "Are you regretting?" I said, "Did I do anything wrong?" I said, no. Are you regretting? Please just tell me. If I did anything so it wrong. took him time to understand that I'm just a quiet, quiet person. I just want to talk when I talk and just keep quiet when I want to keep quiet. Yeah. And she, I love TV. Yeah, she loves watching TV. She she loves reading books. So at least I learned how to read books from her. Mm. Then yeah. you tell them that one that you learned, the best one. Which you one? Learn how to save money. Oh god. That was a battle. <laughs> god. So hey! So where I come Whoa. from, right? Where the house I come from, eh? As you get it, spend it. Spend! Don't think. Don't think about God tomorrow. Will, God will provide. <laughs> then I now met a woman whom, as soon as the money comes in, she will sit down and think, look at her budget and list. And what if whatsoever is not in the budget or the list should not should not even like be part of what we will spend on. And that's where he has a problem. And that's where I have, I have a problem. With. I had. I had. Okay, it was a serious <laughs> issue. Ah, we're always fighting even though, because of that. Even though to today wow. we still, we still, we still but, um, but he's trying. At least I've got some five percent. Yes. I have some yeah, time. I think that's maybe a, let's say you're doing medicine. Maybe a six hundred level now. Mm. You're not graduated yet. Really. Yeah. With all I'm doing. Ah, you are trying, but you have not graduated. Hey. <laughs> so, so that's that's the way I was brought up, right? Um, that was the major because, difference. Because because it was really a problem for us, okay. and um, I, I somebody can come and meet me, uh, and he will like tell me that he has this issue, and I'll carry everything and just give him everything. Then I will now go back to her and just say, "Do you have some money there?" And we'll now have to start depending on whatever she has for the whole month. I remember uh, when you did that one, my own was finished. We had to trek to my friend's house to go and eat dinner. We went to eat rice. Have... You know, so there was no food in the house. Yep. In this Abuja. <laughs> there was no food in the house. There was, we, we had spent all the money. You. Uh, okay, <laughs> and, okay, there was no money. So, and, and you know how it is. Month that had ended, and mm. I was expecting that they would pay salary on Friday. Mm. They didn't pay the salary didn't on pay. Friday. There was no food, as in there was no food. The only thing I think we had was gari and little yam. Mm. And there was nothing. To and there was no even palm oil. Yeah. Yeah, there was no palm oil. So um, on Sunday when we we didn't even go to church that day because the foil that was in the car, the foil that was in the car, will take us to church and bring us back. But, but it would take us to the office to, to work. Because then she was not working. Mm -hmm. She had left her work in Kabna to join me oh. here. So um, we sat down. She now said, let's go to my friend's place. She's called Tina. And let's have lunch there. So we now walked we now to the house. It. As in, we, I don't know, uh, about two or three kilometers, right? Mm. Checked we, we checked to the house. They gave us rice. Amortina. And stew and Amortina. So when we were living like But we didn't take the Martina there. Yeah, we, we took mm. the Martina because we wanted to go and take it at home at this one for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> for dinner. Wow. So when we were about living, I I I told the husband that okay, we're going and he said, ah, let me drop let you guys. And I said, no, 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 we're, we're just like, trying. No, don't we just worry. Want to walk. Like, no, we just no, want to no, walk. No, we have to drop you at home. We want to walk back to at home and he now said, No, I have to drop you. Yeah. He now dropped us and um as soon as he dropped us. This lady here has just started crying. Mm. I can't even and she asked me, <laughs> What have I done to deserve this thing you do to me every month? Mm. And that thing broke me. 
Mm. And I just told her that I'll be a better person. But actually, she knows um, where I'm coming from because she has seen it. Mm. She still sees it all the time that my siblings, ah, they like party. <laughs> Let's spend the money. Let's spend. I said, they will tell you that you know, this set for we are going to do something small. Mm, something small. It is not small. Something it's never small, small is like three, four hundred people. It's know. never small with them. Yeah. It is never small. Wow. Wow. Even Popsy's barrier was not small. Wow. So how how did you get to the point where, like, was it what she said alone, you know, like, communication, or how were you able to navigate that difference and all that was? Yeah, so for me, um, as soon as we talked, I just started, I started small. I knew I wasn't going to like be doing the big ones, but I just told her, I said, okay, what will happen is anything that has to do with savings mm. and upkeep, I will take it out and give it to her. Okay. Then whatever it is that um, I have for other things, then I can, I can just spend. So we decided that, okay, uh, this certain percentage of my salary will be, um, going to savings and this certain percentage will, will, will be for um, upkeep. upkeep. And the upkeep will be with me? Yeah, it will be with her. Because, uh, so, and... Because we don't want to check another friend's so, house. So, so but, but then, but then the remaining one will mm -hmm. now be with me. I can do whatever I, I want mm -hmm. to do. But at the end of the day, day, at the end of the day, I still come back. Yes, the that's the thing. You still come back. I start to actually do up to today. That okay. one, eh? That one, I think is Oh, a, you say I want thing. to borrow. You borrow and you will never pay. <laughs> so have you just decided that, okay, this one, no, I'm going to live with it. No, no, you don't know. Since there is a certain percentage for investment mm. and all that. Mm. So I'm, I'm, I'm calm now. Mm. Whatever he does. The hell, but because I can't take away that thing from him. Him giving me, I can't. That's part of him. Mm. So I live with it. But at least I know that there's something that but he always I, keeps I, aside. I have for. taught her how to do it. Sometimes I'm the you one that even, look. Last like last yes, month, I was one. Like last month, like last month, I was one. I was telling her, no, take it easy. Let don't give like, no, 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 this stop. person is. No, nah, I said take it easy, take it easy. You can let's, imagine. Let's get to the next month. Uh, we'll see how what we can. <laughs> so that means that you people have rubbed off on each other. Yes. Basically, and there are some things that you have to just live mm -hmm. with, mm -hmm. and then exactly. for some other things, you get a system in place that around would it, yeah. work yes a system around it that would work so for those of us that are different in our married we can see that there's hope <laughs> there's hope for there us is, there there's is hope for there us is, hope. It, it was it was a huge battle ah, that um, was the main issue in fact it was war hmm. in terms of uh, savings investment but now in fact even the investment he didn't agree with me mm -hmm. so when i started work i no, started my started investment me. alone when she now came and told me, so when he now saw the amount that I've saved, he was like, mm. You know, a man now. Uh, <laughs> how was she any that she said, No, I have to join. I just, told her, I just said, No, I have to join this. And now, wisdom. Um, uh, to God be the glory. Mm -hmm. mm. I can wheel it my chest and tell people that. Make sure that you <laughs> see. Invest. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one preaching that one now. <laughs> so, you've talked about work, and that brings me to the third question, which is about career choices. How can a couple make career choices that helps your marriage? Because sometimes there are some career choices that we hear that will put a lot of strain mm. or threaten, you know, your marriage. So what are some things that you have that has helped you in making career choices that ensures that my family is still standing in this career choice? So for me, I think um, maybe I should just quote this Bible passage. If the foundation is faulty, okay. what can the righteous do? So um, from the beginning, uh, for me, um, with my time with God in prayers, prayers, yeah, um, God, has, God, has, God showed me a lot of things about my life. For example, uh, by virtue of the course I was studying, um, I thought I would work in places like Potakot. You know, everybody mm -hmm. in university wants to work, wants to work in an uh, oil company oh, yeah. in Potakot or Lagos. But then at that point, God told me that I will be in Abuja. Mm -hmm. I just, I had it clearly. There is this place in Samaru campus that we used to normally we used to go and pray. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a lot, sort of like a former lot tennis court or so, just beside uh, the chapel of uh, the 
because chapel of salvation is one in Congo. Yes, so it's one that we yes, so chapel of redemption. Yeah, I was in Congo. Chapel of redemption. So um, God showed me where I will walk, uh, the kind of wife I will, He will give me, all the things that uh, will happen during the marriage, and um, some of the things that are happening. I will just look at ourselves because I. I told her as soon as we met that this this was what God said. Uh, I told her about um, us coming to work in Abuja and everything. And she, for her, she never liked um, Abuja. Abuja for one at all. Wow, In fact, I it, love Abuja. it was work for her to come back to Abuja. We leave my job. In fact, um, as if I think I threatened her, I even had to like involve but you parents. Think, but you did. I uh, I did. You yeah, say you think. You I think actually no, threatened him. I, no, I didn't. What did I say? <laughs> you say it's either you choose your work or you choose your marriage. Wow. <laughs> so I was always traveling to Kaduna every weekend. Uh, yes, yeah, but because... I was the one doing the traveling because my work there was really hectic. Mm -hmm. Yes. Because for me, I I couldn't just see myself spend the weekend without my wife here mm. in, in Abuja, except if it's like because it, if it's, if it's yeah, necessary or... or I was going to travel from the office and stuff like that. So um she came back here but then before then uh, before we got married we had put all the things the way we want our family to mm -hmm. to be and we what didn't we want, want both of us to be so busy yes we had talked about it we had talked about it we always talked about balance there should mm -hmm. be a balance mm -hmm. it shouldn't be two both of us chasing money as we just meet in the morning ah, or in the night good night mm. we didn't want that so when i realized that his job was more taxing because when I got this job that I'm working now, it's not as taxing as when I was working in Kaduna. I was okay with it because I realized he was quite very busy. And I just said, I cannot be busy like that. Yeah. There should be a balance. Yeah. And for me, I, I what I try to do is, I know that um, I've failed uh, one or two times or more. Uh, but what I try to do is, when I'm around, I always want to be like, even if I'm going out, let's go out together. Yes. I want to go and bat my hair. Let's do it. So, insist, we, let's so we, we talk, mm. we gist. Um, like yesterday, I was just started from this dining table in the morning because at least I, I was supposed to be, I've, I've been on leave last week, but I was in the office. That was his camp. Uh, so, uh, mm -hmm. so um, yesterday, mm -hmm. I, I just decided that we just talk. We mm -hmm. talked and talked. We talked about before marriage. We mm -hmm. talked about during marriage. What, what is it? We started thanking each other for, for the love and the understanding and everything. So um, I try as much as possible to just be at home um, with her. Even if uh, I have to go out there, we go out together. Like on Friday, I dropped her in the office and um, I told her I was coming back in 30 minutes. Mm -mm. I came back in four hours. I, I, after four Why hours. So um, I just went to the office. I, I wanted to just sign something outside the office. I just said, bring it out, let me sign it. I found myself inside the office. Wow. <laughs> so I cannot be busy like that. So yeah, so so that we agreed on. If she was the one that was busy, I wouldn't have had any problem with it. Uh, it would have been fine by me yeah. that um, I will be the one at home. Yeah. It's not it's an okay issue because before then she was the one that was busy. Yeah, I was yeah. fine at home. Uh, but you but come, you come. Sometimes you come to Kaduna. You come mostly on Fridays. Mm -hmm. When he comes to Kaduna, there sometimes I'll, up to ten o'clock I'll yeah. be in the office. Wow, and he didn't have a problem with it. But mind you, when we got married, I wasn't working. So she was. I would just escort her. Mm, you escort me to the bus stop, bus stop. because we didn't have a car. Yeah. If you escort me to the bus stop. I'll take my bus to work, then he'll come back, mm -hmm. then go around to look for where to type. At least, mm -hmm. even if it's just bread, let him buy bread. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, so I just, um, one of uh, who happens to be like a father to us, a spiritual father, uh, Reverend Hudu Samadu, mm -hmm. I asked him a question and he said, um, no matter what happens, even if it's, uh, yeah, he cancelled us, he said, even if it's bread, make sure you bring back home. Say for for because um, I think for a woman she has her limits in terms of uh, supporting the house alone. So I had to like be going from business center to business center. I would I would get uh, people's projects. I would get some um, graphic works. Yeah. Then go there work. 
they give me my commission. Then when she comes back, we we'll just buy bread or buy sweet. Because most times you meet her, you come back home together. Wow. Yes, we used to buy. We do burger with it with bread. Yes. <laughs> we do burger with it with bread. Oh my gosh. So, from this question, like I said, I was writing so many things that you have said, and I would just like bring them out very quick. Number one is even if you don't have a job per se, you know, try and do something to bring home. Yes. Number two, you've spoken about foundation. There were things you guys agreed from the beginning is always good because sometimes especially in our generation in the hustle you get lost yes, if you've yes. not already yeah. set standards for yourself and for your marriage um i heard again that there are seasons so we must know that in a marriage if you are the one bringing everything today it may not be like that yeah. tomorrow so seasons can change one person may be busy today another person and then um, I, I heard again that you intentionally said two of us. I, I've never thought of that. And this is something I have carried. You know, two of us must not be too busy yeah. at the same time. Because now there is somebody that is, quote unquote, available when the busy person is available. And that is like me, I've carried that one. You know, and I'm sure somebody else has learned it. Both of us must not be too busy at the same time and whatever time we have together we must maximize yes. so it may not be about having a lot of for yes. some people are not as busy two of them are not busy mm -hmm. yes. but they are not spending not their busy. time yeah. so we must be intentional to spend whatever time we have together yes uh, and, so so okay. you see sometimes I, we even travel together Mm -hmm. uh, when I'm yeah, going yeah, for a yeah. shower meeting, to, to travel, shower duty, I follow you to even though uh, one of those <laughs> times we went to okay I went to Lagos, but I needed to go to Ibadan mm. with one of our office drivers that is in Lagos. So we went to Ibadan, we were coming back and there was traffic. We got to, we, were, we got almost into Lagos, we got into Lagos, I think at about 6.37. But we got to the hotel room, close to the airport, around 11 or so. She had dosed like off. In my life. <laughs> it was off. The next day it was like, ah, the next day I was going to have been with her. <laughs> I'm not following you. Is it, is I'm going to enjoy this hotel. Enjoy the hotel. Let me enjoy the hotel on your behalf. I am not following you. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I'm going to go to the last question. And that is about, like this series is majorly talking about longevity in marriage, which is very important. And so we're going to be talking about um, how you've been able to navigate tough times or tough seasons or tough whatever and i want to speak in regards to one particular thing um you've been married 15 years you're waiting for your child and that can and has broken many homes already you know so in that line i just want you to speak on you know, a couple going through whatever they are going through together and not letting it break them and still enjoying your marriage, you know. So, yes, please. Wow. Okay, so, um, one. Don't say what people will not think they are coming from another planet. Yes, I will say that <laughs> because, that because some people we think, understand. because some people think that, that we are um, weird. We are weird. Mm -hmm. and so, I, let me just, um, Put it in context first before I now say what I want to say, so that at least somebody, nobody will come and say he said that one. Uh -huh. So um, when we met, um, one of the things I told her was, um, so I'm that not marrying you for kids. For kids, but then there was something I had received from God, which I don't think I should share, because some people may not really understand, especially depending on. Um, the way we understand the meaning of faith. Um, when we got married, um, I told her that I wasn't going to marry her because of kids, which eventually I told her. Um, not that any of us was sick, mm. but I told her what I had um, received and seen, uh, but um, which um, uh, she, she understood after telling her. Uh, but then, um, and when we got married, we didn't, we didn't get married with the sole mission of children. 
Children. We didn't even. It wasn't. So even, you, you, you didn't even realize that we were was, actually waiting to where people said. So like, hey, yeah, how far? How far? They were like, oh, they're supposed to have kids by now. Mm-hmm. That's wow. when it's now dawn on us that ah, it's one year now. Because we were like, ah, we are not seeing any change. Oh, so the kids are supposed to come. Because we were just enjoying our friendship. Yes. In fact, at that point, we were like as if we were not even married. Yes. We were still like. You get it. But then, um, I think it's all about you understanding God's purpose for your life. You get it. Now, um, one of the things I know I've told God over the years is because is that, um, you know, when, when God allows you or brings you into the world, when he brings you into the world, um, there is a reason and a purpose for why you are here in the world and also in Nigeria. That you were not born in Africa, you are not born in uh, South Africa, you are not born in uh, Ethiopia or, or US or Canada. You are supposed to fill in this gap here in Nigeria that God wants you to fill. And um, I've told him several times that um, the children are actually coming to fill up, um, to, fulfill to, do, to fulfill his purpose. Uh, so if he feels that it's not your time, um, it's up to him. He can send them anytime, mm. even though some people feel still feel that, um, that you know people feel as if you are not. I don't know. Maybe it's the enough. society that you're not, you some feel we're not. Feel that you are not. You, you want this thing, but you are not wanting it. Yes, we are not. We are not. We are not. We are not taking it by force. We are not taking it by force. But how a, how forceful can you take some some things mm. when when you know that when you go to God in prayer, God will just tell you that. Um, I need you guys to just trust me. Mm. I need you to trust me. And you know one thing about um, him, he has told us already, um, he says, I know the plans I have for you, they are plans of good. But also, he also said, uh, says in Romans 8.28, right? Um, uh, that uh, in terms of purpose, that God works all things all out things for good. So, there are things that you, for us, as human beings, we feel that this thing is good for us. Hmm. You get it. It's very, very good. But for for God, He knows he like like nice. uh, for everything that is time. Like my wife will always tell people that time and chance happen to them of the scripture actually. Hmm. So it's not just her. Yeah, but she says it a lot. <laughs> yeah. So um, so it's that's something that has kept us going, knowing that um, even if everybody is like putting us under pressure, mm. especially because of our society, God mm. uh, is God always has our back. God, I think is uh, all the time it's people that remind us that ah, mm-hmm. we are supposed to have kids. But between the two of us, it's not. Mm. Mm-hmm. We don't even. It's nothing. It's not even something that we should talk about. Uh, uh, but it's, it's not. An, it's not. It's, it has never been an issue. Yeah. The only time we don't just talk about it is when I come back to her, I just say, I hope I'm not being selfish. Like I said, because some people feel I'm a man, I can just go wake and, up uh, one day and just go and impregnate a lady. And, yes, and absolutely. I ask myself, is it when I'm 60 or 70, when I've retired, that I will do that? If I have to do it, I'll have done it since. <laughs> so that's just it. Uh, yeah, but then um, we, we, some of these challenges actually sometimes um, make us, yeah, it has made us like close, very, very close to God. And uh, also to learn not to like um, hear what people say. You get it because there are some decisions that we take um, that are so like some people think, um, why are these people taking this decision? Mm. Can't they see what this other person did doing, yeah. or this other what this other person is doing? But for us, once we have something that we want, um, the first place we go to is to God. Yeah. We talk to Him, and um, He tells us what to do. You know, he says, come unto me, and I will answer you. And he didn't say, um, I will give you. He just said, and I will show you. Mm-hmm. Even though in some other places he says, ask and you shall receive. But this time around, he says, I will show you great and mighty things. So we have come to learn that it, let God show us mm-hmm. what to do. Then, um, then we now receive the grace to be able to do what he's showing us to do. Mm-hmm. Rather than, um, but we're not saying, making you look at him. Don't have a chance. Some people I know it's very, very hard. Difficult, yeah. It's very hard, but I wouldn't say it was. But but then what I don't like is that people just feel as if because you don't have a child you are cursed. Uh-huh. So a lot of or people need to lay possessed. hands on. 
I can't oh, even count. How many people have called me? Ah, uh, they are doing delay of hands. Yeah, there is this a man of God that prays in the mountain. Come. I'm like, why? <laughs> because I think the society makes you feel as if you don't have kids, you're not complete. Yeah, not complete. If you don't have a husband or a wife, you're not complete. complete. It's a lie. Mm. They think those are the things that will make somebody happy. It's not true. Well, there are some people that have everything, everything. but they are so unhappy and depressed. Yeah. It's yeah. a lie. Yeah. That's just it. Yeah. Okay, so I like where we're rounding off this question, which is, you know, just about God and understanding again, like the purpose of marriage and knowing that completeness is not in what, whether spouse, whether marriage. So for those that are even single and watching this, we are still complete in God, you know, finding joy in God first so that whatever comes at you, you are able to, you know, surmount it. And I also heard, you know, going back to God with your challenges. So whether this was a challenge for you or not, whatever is a challenge for you in your life or your marriage, take it together, go to God and he will show you, he will show you something. So thank you very much for this time. Thank you for sharing, for telling us your stories. You know, it has just been amazing. And as we wrap up, just one sentence, anything you want to say to a listener in one sentence about marriage and yeah. Let me go first. Yes, I want you to go first. Marry your friend. Mm. You get why. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so that you can do this finish for the person that needs <laughs> Yeah, so uh, yeah, she's actually right. Um, marry your friend and um, just be truthful. I think that's mm. one thing that um, most marriages just yeah. be, look. If you don't have it, say you don't have it right from the beginning. Mm. Don't form anything. If you don't form that uh, you are you are What's rich when you are not. Yeah. Don't form you have this when you are not, and uh, open up about your weaknesses. Like for me, I think it's one of the things also that has helped us. Uh, I told her my weaknesses, so sometimes she's the one that even helps me, and we joke about it. Mm. So open up. Let your spouse know your strengths and also your weaknesses. Yes. Thank you so much. Marry your friend and be transparent. Thank you so much, Yaris, for just this amazing time. All right, guys. I know that we still have an episode or two. So stay tuned. God bless you. Bye. Bye. Bye.